What's going on, my lovely Pisces? Welcome. We're going to grab your message. Somebody isn't. Okay, so. First off, it's your girls. So the return, yes, it's your reader's birthday. A whole 3 7 out in here. If you want to show some appreciation, I appreciate you. I love coffee. I drink Dunkin', so, you know, $3 for a medium. A cash out below. Hook your girl up. Some coffee today. Um, but we have failure and regret here, okay? So what I was getting is, like, you've been manifesting. You've been working your ass off, okay? Like, you've been paying attention. And some of you, like, you've been doing... And my Pisces, I love y'all to pieces, okay? My daughters are Pisces. Y'all are big dreamers, and y'all will get going. When I tell you, like, this little girl be like, Mommy, I'm gonna go clean my room. And before I know it, she's rearranging everything. She a tiny little top, but she starts moving furniture, rearranging everything. Everything has to get reorganized, right? Like, she sees this big vision, and then she kind of gets nowhere with it, and then I have to go in and finish helping her. But that is y'all, like... Y'all have been doing a lot, doing so much. Slow down, take a step back, look at what you got going on. You're manifesting and everything is like flooding you at one time. But I don't know. It's It feels overwhelming to me, but I know it's really not to y'all. Like y'all will just keep working through it until you're like tired out. And then it's like, okay, whatever. And you'll, you'll just probably move on to the next thing or whatever. Like that. I know that's how my daughter is like and my best friend. Like she'd be like that. But um, like I said, like you've been manifesting a lot and a lot is coming in towards you, right? Um, you've been listening to the signs, everything, right? And you know that you got, got it going on. Whatever it is that you're working on is working out in your favor. It's working out at a pace that's best for you. And I feel like, you know, you have people around you who's trying to, like, slow you down, block you, cause some sort of blockage or delay, or deter, um, deter you from the path that you're on or what, whatever you're working on, right? And I feel like somebody could be in deep regret now because it failed. Yeah, somebody has to accept the fact that you're still going to progress um, or whatever is happening in your life is already happening. Like somebody's trying to stop something and they can't stop it. Okay. Um, I feel like I just heard the chase, the thrill and the chase. Like somebody wants you to like include them or like do for them or I don't know, like, somebody wants to be, like, deep in your energy. Somebody got their eye on you, okay? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Somebody want to come in and disturb your peace. Or it's like, it would disturb your peace if you actually tried to, like, include someone. Or if you actually, like, gave a damn about a situation that you know damn well ain't um, conducive to what it is that you're doing at this time. Yeah. Somebody could be wanting your forgiveness, okay? Well, honestly, some of you Pisces, maybe you could want somebody to forgive you for something, right? Um... I mean, that could be the case, but somebody could want your forgiveness. Um, or I feel like, you know, you could have apologized to somebody already for something. And, you know, maybe I feel like some like you could have already apologized. Oh, this is something old. Right. But I feel like somebody can't let it go. And they want you to just like bend over backwards and like kiss their ass and all of this shit. But judgment is here. Like somebody is doing too much or did too much. I feel like you already could have tried to make amends with someone out of a situation and they just wanted to be ignorant. Like, somebody wants to be childish and ignorant. They, like, they just could not respect the fact that you were holding yourself accountable, that you weren't being delusional, you were being realistic and, like, open and real with them, right? So, yeah, empathy. You you felt for them. You, you, you know, it could have been something, like, maybe you told some, you know, your friend or something, like, you know, I really don't like them shoes with that shirt. And that probably hurt their feelings. And you saw that, you was like, you know... But I'm just saying, you know, I, w I wouldn't do it. I mean, if you like it, I love it, but I personally wouldn't do it. And, you know, maybe, you know, they was like, oh, okay, cool. But then they held a grudge on that forever. And it's like they want you to, like, always kiss their ass and always tell them that they look adorable and everything looks good all the time. And it's like, for what? Like, either you want me to be real because I'm your friend, you want me to be, be true and tell you the truth, or I could lie to you and be a karmic type energy and not tell you the truth. But I'm a real one. I'm your friend. I'm going to tell you the truth, right? It's like somebody just wants you to go out of your way. Like somebody wants you to sacrifice your freedom and your peace to go out of your way to appease them. Okay, yeah. Trust and believe. You're doing too much. Don't do it, Pisces. Don't do it. Okay, so Divine Holy Spirit, what we got here? We rebuke that type of energy in the name of Jesus. Yes, we do. Because, like, come on. Like, somebody is, like, being petty for no reason. Like... Yeah, service. Like, and I feel like you're always nice, you're kind, like, and you're honest and you're open. And it's like somebody wants that from you, but it, like somebody wants that, but they don't want it from you, which is weird. Like, why wouldn't you want honesty and truth 
you know, from somebody that you're that you trust, right? A good friend, right? A good lover, a good coworker. Like, why wouldn't you want it from somebody who's honest and true? Why would you want somebody to lie to you and fill up your head so you can go out here and embarrass yourself? Like, that's weird. Like, that's all vibrational. Love me good and lie to me. Like, no, don't don't do that. <laughs> You can't be loving me good and lying to me, right? That's kind of like an oxymoron. Like, yeah, grief, okay? That's stressful. <laughs> Do you really love me? Because y'all here lying, right? Do you really care? Yeah, peace is your main soul lesson for the next 30 days. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah, like you, you're not going to lie. Like, for what? That's negative as hell. Like, if you, you want somebody to feel good about themselves and know the honest truth, you don't want people to go out here with fucking broccoli or lipstick in their teeth, like a booger in their nose. You that person to tell somebody, right? And they'll get mad at you, like you put them on the spot. But it's like, yo, I'm a real friend for telling you got a booger in your nose. You've been talking, you done talked to 15 other people who just been sitting here watching you with this booger in your nose. You think them real people to let you go around with that in your face? I'm a real one. And you get mad at me for pointing it out and telling it to you because I'm your friend. That shit is crazy. Right. So somebody really wants to disturb your peace or somebody doesn't like somebody. Somebody wants to change who you are as a person, like the fact that you are a dreamer and that, you know, you believe in the positives of life and, you know, you try to keep things, you know, on an up and up. Right. And I mean, granted, you know, it's the, it, that could be a delusional mindset to some people. Like everything isn't always glitter and gold and rainbows and unicorns and shooting stars. But if that is the life that, you know, you're manifesting and that you're working on and you're working towards, if that is the timeline, the, the space, the energy, the frequency that you're aligning on, then who is anyone to say that that's not what's going on in your world just because they're not there? Like that's like you're at peace right there in that world. And for you, it is your real world. And somebody's a, like somebody doesn't like that about you or thinks that it's a facade or I don't know, it's weird energy. Who had to prove something? You might want to go back and watch Ophiuchus energy because it's like somebody, again, wanting you to prove yourself, right? Or I don't know, like how much do you really care? I cared enough to tell you you had spinach in your teeth, and but you got mad at me. And we sat at this table with all your quote unquote friends that you invited me with, right? Um, that's somebody's true conversation that has not happened to me, okay? Because I know sometimes when this come out, I was like, yo, did that? Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I be hearing this shit, okay? But it's that type of energy here, yeah. Like, you're at peace, and then we have success here. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And you are a being of love, releasing all negativity. And because, again, you are in, you know, your Pisces state of mind, <clears throat> right? You're, you're in your Pisces state of mind. Um, and you are moving out of a space of love, right? And understanding and empathy, right? With your emotions, right? You are successful because you are not being negative. And the, the way that you're moving is all for the highest good of not only you, but those around you. And it sucks because you have people around you who don't like that you are like radiating this positivity right now. Okay. Seek clarity, embrace openness and insight, allowing life's truths to reveal themselves. Yeah, and I feel like you're just seeing that some people just, like, it's not worth it. Like, it's not. Like, some people will never change. Some people always want to be in a dark place. Some people don't want to be uplifted. You know, some people don't want to do better. Some people don't want, you know, to improve. You know, or in their appearance. Some people do want to walk around with the lipstick in their teeth or the, the spinach in their teeth. Like, some people do want to walk around with the booger or the, the crust around their mouth. Like, some people want that. They want the ashy-ass lips or the ashy-ass kneecaps or ankles that nobody, that everybody is seeing, but no one is bold enough or real enough to tell them that it exists and pass them some lotion. Like, yeah, you're dealing with people who want to be stuck behind the veil. They don't want to know the truth. They don't want the clarity. They don't want to see what's going on. They want to live in delusional land, the land that they think that you live in. But not for nothing, the land that they think you live in is actually a land of peace. They're actually living in a place of delusion here, okay? So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Pisces? Let's clarify. Yeah, we got planet phase. It's chestnut checkers, right? Like, you're, like, people could think that you just do stuff on, like, an airhead whim and not realizing that you actually strategically plan what you're doing. Not for nothing, you're the last Zodiac. You're the 12th one. You're the oldest, the wisest, 
right? You've been around the longest, like Pisces. If we go on, Aries starts it, that's one. The last one is Pisces, right? You are the oldest of the zodiacs, if we look at it in terms of that way. So, I don't know why anybody would really want to play with you because you're the realest in the game. Like, you see, you see moves on the chessboard that nobody else see again because you live in this dream state so i feel like the game could be starting off fresh you don't already mapped out every way of how you could win this game you've seen every move already take place you've been around like you know what's going on and because you are so open to you know all the possibilities you're not restricted to granite and chess the pieces a lot the pieces are restricted to certain movements with the exception to the queen, right? Um, well, no, nah, she's even restricted because she can't move like a knight, right? But um, granted that the pieces are restricted in their movement, you still see the possibility of the, all of them making it across and swooping up all your opponents. Like, you, you can still see those moves that would exist after that first step. Okay, so let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Pisces? What do they need to know? Actually, and I guess this is why it flung this way. I like how it did it that way. Man on fire. Somebody tried to put out your flame, tried to die you down. Underneath the deck we have, just go with it. Okay, I'll read that last. Because it's going to make sense. So we have hurtful events. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past. So I won't anchor you down. Okay? So yeah, people have done some things. They have said some things, right? They have treated you a certain way. They have looked at you a certain way. People that you thought, you know, was real for you. Because you've been real for them. You've realized that they were fake. People who want you to go and bend backwards. And it's like you done bent enough. You can't bend anymore. Like they want you to break. But it's like... It's obvious you're not going to break, but they just want to keep trying you to see what will make you break type of thing, right? So you've dealt with, in, you know, those type of energies and those people already and you have, you know, you went through the fire. You done made it through the fire, right? And you done came out, you transformed, right? This is giving me that tower energy, that Mars energy, um, Scorpio type of shit, okay? But you done came out and it's crazy because this is like fire and not for nothing. I mean, it's air because it's blowing out, but I'm I'm thinking more of like water, because water, you know, you put water on a fire, it goes out type of shit. Well, depending on your fire, right? But it's like given that, like, Ophiuchus energy, right? That cross between the Scorpio and Sagittarius is giving this Ophiuchus type of energy, like fire and ice type of thing. Um, so, yeah, in the past you have dealt with, you know, some people who have treated you wrong. But you never let that make you cold. You get what I'm saying? Like... It was through, like I said, the people who um, treated you wrong, who pushed you aside, who called you delusional, said stuff wouldn't work out for you. You know, you you moved aside. Like, you you stepped around and you kept it moving. You kept it pushing. And nonetheless, like, you, you got where you are today. Like, you didn't allow it to hold it down. Because right now we have this crystal of clarity, okay? Illuminate your path with openness and insight. Read readying yourself for a newfound understanding of content and that's what you did and like you're moving on but spirit is also saying like slow down okay like don't overwhelm yourself you know um you don't have to it's not a race right it's a marathon it's not a sprint right take your time um but it's like right now just stay focused on what you got going on you don't have to really worry about doing for everybody else because it's like You've already realized and seen in the past that trying to be there and help those, especially those that you thought were down for you, it caused you some stress. It caused you some pain. You had people who were disrupting your peace. And not for nothing, now that you've moved on, these people, they want to come back around because now you know which direction you're going in, okay? You've already tried to help these people. These are people who already shitted on you and they want to come back around because now you're in a state of peace and you're very successful. You're making shit happen. But again, spirit is also telling you, just slow down and enjoy it. Right? You clean up all of these flowers. Now go take time to go smell them. Okay? Stop doing other stuff and go and smell your roses. Go and smell your flowers. Right? Go admire the beauty of what you have already created and what you've been working on. Okay? Because you got a lot going on. And I feel like, you know, it is possibly to like fill up time or just the overwhelm of feeling like you need to get everything done like now, now, now. But just embrace what you have already done. Right? Be appreciative of what already has been accomplished 
and you know show gratitude to what has already been manifested into your life okay but then we have true intentions stay authentic and aligned trusting your inner wisdom to guide you toward genuine fulfillment right and I feel like as these people come around, you'll see what their true intentions are. You'll understand what their true intentions are. It will show right off the bat. Like, you don't have to go in deep. You don't have to do nothing to, you know, pull anything out of them. They will naturally come into your life and they will show you why they're here. They'll say something. They'll trigger back. They'll even come back to a hurtful event and try to bring that back up and make you re-hold yourself accountable for some shit or try to blame something on you. Nah, keep it moving. Move forward. Their true intentions have shown. Keep going. These are people who want to destroy your peace that you've already found after they've already hurt you. You don't have to give in to these people. You don't have to do anything with these folks. You can say hi and bye and keep it moving. But you do not have to invest the same energy that you did before. Okay? Because I even notice that too sometimes. And I, you know, I try to explain it with my daughter, you know, as a, as a lesson for her to learn. And it's like, <clears throat> don't allow somebody to treat you the same way twice, baby. Okay? And I get it. You want to be kind, you know, and be there for people, you know, no matter what. You know, and you don't, we don't hold grudges, you know, because holding that type of energy is bad for you. Not for them. It really doesn't do anything for another person. When you sit around angry, bitter, and holding grudges for them, they don't care. They don't move on with their life. So you don't do that. But in the same breath, don't allow somebody to come back into your life and treat you the same way twice. Okay. If someone decides to exit your life or, you know, they want to treat you a certain way or whatever, you remember that. You hold on to that. But now you, you treat them different. They don't come back in and you treat them the same way. It's like restarting over again with this person and getting to learn them for who they are and where they're at in this current state in your life, right? We do remember those hurtful words, those hurtful things that they did. And then we know how to act and move accordingly. You know, you ran all your, you ran your mouth and told all my secrets to all those friends that were your friends and not my friends. And then they went and told everything to everybody else. Or this was supposed to be kept between us. I was working on this project and you went and gave my idea to somebody else who went and put it out before I can. Like, you know, you know how to deal with people and move on with them. So you know not to speak to this person. You can't tell them your secrets. You can't tell them your plans. You can't invite them to certain places, right? Oh, I'll say hi to you, but you definitely can't come around my family anymore, especially after all that messy stuff you did with like all my cousins type energy, right? Now, you could stay over there. I say hey to you. We could say hi on social media, but you cannot come over to my house. You cannot do this. You cannot do that, you know? It, is learning, you know, where you now have to put people because of things that have happened in the past. And not for nothing, you can also just keep people blocked. That always works too. But, you know, my daughter and her young tender age, you know, she's still trying to go through life. And, you know, they're all growing and learning and stuff like that. So I just tell her, you know, you just treat people accordingly. Like if they did something before that you don't like, that you didn't like or whatever, or that hurt your feelings, then you know how you need to move going forward accordingly, especially if they want to come back around in your life. You set that boundary, you tell them that you didn't like something. If they can't respect that you don't like something or they want to continue doing it, you dismiss them. God will replace. Trust me. Okay. And it will be better. But we have to just go with it. And it's embrace spontaneity and trust the journey, remaining open to unexpected twists and turns along the way. Yeah, like you lose somebody, trust me, gotta put somebody better in your life. You ain't gotta worry about all that now. Let's see. Let's clarify the clarifying that. Fire Holy Spirit. For Pisces. Let's clarify the clarifying deck. For Pisces. Mm, what is that? I don't know. Planting seeds. Yeah, these people were like working on you, working on your nerves, working on your passions, right? They were doing this with other people, right? This was a part of their goal. Somebody could have been doing jar spells on you to try to contain you and keep you stuck. Like somebody knew how loving and open that you were and how much that you could flourish and grow, right? But somebody really chose to like do what they did to you on purpose. And then now they want to come back around and because that shit didn't work out in their favor or whatever it was that they were planning to like hurt you or like whatever scheme they were trying to work on to like slow you down and block you, they realized it didn't work. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But no, they, they worked with people. Like they worked with other folks. Like they chose to be low vibrational beings. Like they chose this. Hurtful events. Yeah, retreat. I feel like this will cause you to isolate or you to like just, you know, back away from folks, right? Um, Really get to know more of yourself, you know, what it is that you do and don't want and dealing with certain relationships, whether they're romantic or platonic. Yeah, right. You did some inner child healing, some growth, like somebody, they really worked hard to trigger some childhood wounds, right? 
and you realize, you know, I can't be around folks who are purposely trying to trigger me. So, you know, you could have retreated like these people or like I said, you told these people personal information and they went and started telling everybody else about you. Yeah. in your own home life, especially with this dark, maybe, you know, you didn't have the best childhood for right. Maybe you went through some um, things that children should never have to go through and you expressed and you and you told this person, you know, in confidentiality, you know, you trusted them. And then they could have went and just blabbed to everybody, including like. Somebody who's your worst enemy who then went and posted all your shit on social media and tried to embarrass you type energy, right? I heard civil. Somebody could have a civil lawsuit here against somebody who's out here defaming your character or just running their mouth. HIPAA violations or shit like that. Somebody is out here running the mouth about your life and your business, okay? Yeah, healing. And it was all things that you have already healed. Like, it ain't even who you are today or who you were at that time when it was out here running their mouth. But somebody just really want to keep your past relevant to stop you in your present and to block your future, right? But you had already healed. You're not that person. You had gone through, you know, whatever you had to go through, got the therapy if you needed it, right? Um, Faced your demons, did your apologies, held yourself accountable. You did everything that you needed to do and somebody just really could not, cannot, and will not let go of your past. They want to make your past so relevant because... They, they hurt people hurt people okay yeah hurt people hurt people like for what what's crystal of clarity what's crystal of clarity Yeah, I feel like in no time and in real time, you realize that you're regal, right? That you're important. You are somebody of royal bloodline, that you are deserving, right? This could even be a masculine energy who's coming in to remind you who you are, to fix your crown, right? Eight of Wands energy is giving Sag, Four of Wands is giving Aries. But somebody is coming in real quick with some quick communication, or maybe you could have even got a download or some insight. You know, reminding you who you are and to fix your crown. Okay, somebody could have brown hair, be a brunette. I feel like right now, like your confidence is built back up because you realize, that, like, you know that you're not your past and somebody really wanted you to live there, but you know that you're not there anymore. And they are, okay? And because you, you took time to truly realize and understand that things are really moving forward for you very quickly here. Yeah, imagination. Everything that you've been manifesting is now coming in because you realize that you are not a victim of your past. Okay, somebody really wanted to keep you stuck there. It was like them trying to do this to you. Keep their thumb on you. Keep you stuck. And yeah, speaking truth. And I feel like you speaking your truth, you cutting people off, right? And I feel like, again, this could be shocking to folks. Because again, you're delusional Pisces. What do you know? I'll just come back and throw them a Laffy Taffy and we'll be joking. We'll we'll laugh off the jokes on a Laffy Taffy again and be best friends. And they'll tell me all their secrets and, you know, and take me everywhere they go and support me while I don't support them again. Like, no, like, I feel like this is also you currently putting in boundaries with people because you know that you're working on something. And you know that they are blockages. You know that they can't come forward with you. You know that they disturb your peace, right? Right now, moving forward, as you continue to go, just remember people's true intentions, <clears throat> okay? Because I feel like for you, you already know what you want. You want to be happy, and it's clear as day, and that's all you work on, is bringing peace and happiness not only to yourself, but to those around you, okay? I don't know why I see a community garden here, all right? But it's like, you could be seeing crows or some form of a blackbird here. All right. But it's like warning messages. I feel like you see these things, especially when like some whenever these type of energies are about to like call you or message you or show up like you see them. OK. And I feel like that's just God's warning of, like, you know, hey, get ready to just, you know, protect your peace, you know, um, stay alert because this person might come in and try to, you know, fuck with your confidence a little bit or, you know, just shake up your foundation, you know, especially with all that earth energy, try to mess with your footing, get you off grounded, you know, whatever. And yeah, we have gratitude. Look. So the birds, the birds of color are telling you things. Your bright birds are, you know, be thankful, be gracious. You know, this is good energy. You see a dark bird, they're trying to kind of give you a warning and like, listen up, pay attention type of energy. OK, but at the end of the day, you know, um, this is this is really about you just being appreciative of life and somebody who is really upset that you are. OK, and somebody sees clear as day that 
at the end of the day, your intentions were always pure. Like you never meant to cause any harm to anyone, right? Like you were always good to people despite what they tried to do to you or how they tried to make you out to be. And the, you are truly right here showing a definition of somebody taking your kindness for all type of weakness, like dead ass roots. You're a very grounded and, and stable and solid person. I feel like as you move forward in the future, you're going to see who's really down for you too, right? People who are really solid. Them birds going to let you know who's solid. If you sitting outside with somebody, somebody pull up on you and want to talk and you sitting outside and say like, you know, all these black birds or a black bird, you know, especially if it's just one, one crow come around and just sit there and be watching y'all. Nah, that person ain't what it's about. Um, even if you see robins, cause robins, you know, they just red chested in the front and it's a lot more black. Um, I feel like your, that's your ancestors telling you to pay attention and really listen. Okay. Pay attention to this energy and really listen. All those beautiful, bright color birds that they send you, um, that's you, them letting you know that this is somebody that you can trust. Okay. Um, this is somebody who appreciates you. Okay. Um, or even if, you know, you're in a moment and that person start going off on you or start saying shit and you start feeling like, mm, them birds will show up, the colorful birds will show up and it will remind you to be gracious that you're listening to your higher self because your higher self is telling you that shit no good. And then like a blue jay will show up to remind you, you're right, that shit is no good. So let that person go. Okay. So let's get it. Let's get it. Drama free, baby. That's what I'm talking about, Pisces. Drama free out here in these streets. Oh, y'all got a popper. Yeah, why? Because just fuck it. You out this world. Anyway, like I said, you on a different earth. You always, people always say you delusional, but y'all rule the dream state. So, whatever. <laughs> but divine Holy Spirit, let's see. What do we got for our lovely Pisces to close this out? Yeah, somebody really was trying to steal, like, all your dreams. Like, your joy and your dreams. Like... Your childlike energy. Somebody is trying to strip you of your innocence that you still hold on to. Your purity. Yeah, box with the pillow. Don't go punch them in their face. Don't go beat them up, Pisces. Because trust me, I know my daughter's a fighter. She is a fighter. <laughs> she a feisty little thing. But, oh, don't go fight them, though. I'll give you five to pop out if it'll give me that. Yeah, you and somebody else is on different earthies because you are here, right? And then it's like, just fuck it. And then you got somebody who's trapped in whatever little dimension they are in their bubble saying that this some bullshit. Like, they spacecraft ain't going nowhere. It's stuck. And you out here. You outside. <laughs> you out here. Yeah. And don't turn back. Whatever you do, Pisces, don't turn back. Let them be where they need to be. They ain't want to believe in you. Yeah, you you deserve abundance. You thought that, and they thought that you was just being delusional. And look at you being abundant as fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, so do not panic, all right? Do not panic, because why? And it's crazy how these are both the same color. Like, don't panic. This person is stuck. They're stuck in their broken down spacecraft. They can't get out. Or in their bubble, in their shell, they can't get out. And it's crazy, all these flies and shit. And like I was telling Aquarius, I had this fly. That is stuck somewhere in his room. Mind you, when I woke up this morning, I done already walked through everything. Didn't hear this fine time. I literally came in here to sit down and record. Then it just wanted to buzz, buzz, buzz. I said, oh, it's a monitoring spirit. And your ass is trapped and you stuck. In this bubble, this is a fly. And it's stuck. So whatever monitoring they were trying to do to try to block you or stop you or hinder you, get all up in your dream space. Because, I mean, why not fuck with a Pisces in her dreams, right? That shit blocked. And if somebody was coming in to be a monitoring spirit, right? To be nosy, they ass is blocked. They don't know nothing. You didn't tell them nothing. You know what their intentions are. Or remember, people's true intentions, right? Yeah, and say a lot for the people in the back. Mm -hmm. And say it loud, because I'm black and I'm proud. Happy Juneteenth, by the way. It's pretty dope that that came out. But um, yeah, and it's okay to not be okay sometimes. It's okay to cry. I'm not okay. It's okay to cry. If you need to cry, look, you can email me. Cover me below now, nah, you know, whatever. We we get together, we figure it out. You can cry to me. I cry with your shit. Okay? Yeah, mm -mm. Cries are good releases. And I know it hurt. Especially if it's like family too. I know that shit can hurt. But God got better for you. I promise you. God got better for you. I wouldn't tell you if I wasn't a walking, living proof of, you know, having to cut off people I never thought I'd have to cut off and, you know, God's still showing up and, you know, 
people just walking into my life that I know is by the grace of God, you know, that I don't know, like, I guess you, in a sense, kind of like fills that, that void, that missing piece, you know, that we, we may feel like we're missing, like God provides, just know that God provides, okay, he provides, he made sure my ass would never be lonely, he gave me two kids, one of each, and my beautiful little doggy, okay, so I'd never be alone. Final message here. Instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop. Breathe and reevaluate. We won't start over. <laughs> Instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop. Breathe and reevaluate. You are doing enough. Even if it doesn't feel like it, don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. It is not worth it. Balance your time more wisely. Yeah, because somebody. Mm -mm. We just going to leave that right there. It, it's, it, it goes hand in hand with everything that's been, been said. Y'all yeah, know that. Your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Make decisions rationally but sensibly. Okay. And it's crazy. Yeah, say aloud. That is reminding me of like the Eight of Wands. Why I shoot it. Yeah, it's coming in quick. Just keep speaking up for yourself. Keep doing the healing. Keep doing the work. Okay. You got it. You got it, babe. I love you, Pisces. You know I love you and your beautiful faces. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next time we speak, peace out.